While the European and Pacific theatres of World War II are well documented, several lesser-known fronts played pivotal roles in the conflict. North Africa, for instance, saw fierce battles between the Axis, primarily Germany and Italy, and the Allies, led by the United Kingdom and later the United States. The North African campaign, which began in 1940, included famous battles like El Alamein, which took place in Egypt and contributed to the Allies' overall strategy as it stopped the Axis from going further to Egypt. The control of North Africa was essential for securing vital shipping routes and resources in the Mediterranean. The Arctic Front as well involved the Soviet Union, which fought against Finnish and German forces. The Northern Fleet of the Soviet Navy played a vital role in escorting Arctic convoys, ensuring the delivery of supplies and equipment from Western allies. The Mediterranean Front, including campaigns in Italy, Greece and the Balkans, also impacted the broader war effort and helped set the stage for the Allied invasion of Southern Europe. The participation of women in combat roles during World War II is an often overlooked aspect of the conflict. In the Soviet Union, women played an instrumental role in the war effort. Thousands of Soviet women served as snipers, with some, like Lyudmila Pavlichenko, becoming legendary and extraordinary in this role. Women also served as tank drivers, combat pilots like Maria Dolina, and in various support roles. Their contributions challenged traditional gender roles and demonstrated the determination and commitment of women in the face of adversity. The Battle of Madagascar in 1942 is a lesser-known episode of World War II. It involved British forces launching Operation Ironclad, a covert operation aimed at seizing the island of Madagascar from Vichy, France. The strategic importance of Madagascar lay in controlling crucial shipping routes in the Indian Ocean and preventing its use as a base for Axis naval operations. The operation ultimately succeeded, but it highlights the global nature of the war and the lengths to which the Allies went to secure strategic advantages. In a snowy battlefield during a war between Finland and the Soviet Union in 1939 to 1940, something interesting happened. The leader of the Soviet Union, Vyacheslav Molotov, claimed the bombs they were dropping on Finland were actually food deliveries, not weapons. <laughs> what a weird joke! The Finnish soldiers knew this wasn't true, so they did something clever. They invented the Molotov cocktail. It was a glass bottle filled with a flammable liquid, often a mixture of gasoline or a similar fuel. The bottle is then sealed with a cloth or paper wick soaked in the same flammable liquid. When the wick is lit and the bottle is thrown, it breaks upon impact, igniting the contents and creating a fireball upon contact with a surface. The name is a sarcastic reference to Vyacheslav Molotov. These Molotov cocktails became a secret weapon for the Finnish soldiers, a way to fight back against the bigger Soviet army, and the Molotov cocktail became a symbol of their bravery and resourcefulness during a difficult war. During World War II, Operation Mincemeat was a remarkable and highly secretive deception plan orchestrated by the British intelligence agency MI5. In 1943, the Allies sought to mislead Nazi Germany about the planned invasion of Southern Europe. To do this, they used a corpse dressed as a Royal Marine officer and equipped with a briefcase containing fake documents. The ingenious part was the creation of a fictitious identity for the deceased officer, Captain William Martin. They fabricated a personal history, complete with love letters, family photos, and even a St. Christopher medal. The documents in the briefcase hinted at an impending Allied attack on Sardinia and Greece, diverting German forces away from the actual target, Sicily. The body, accompanied by a British submarine, was released off the coast of Huelva, Spain. The Spanish authorities, who were sympathetic to the Axis, but officially neutral, discovered the body and the documents. 
The Germans, convinced by the elaborate ruse, moved troops away from Sicily, which allowed the Allies to secure the island with minimal resistance during the Operation Husky landings in July 1943. Operation Mincemeat got its name because it involved mixing fake information, made-up identities, and phony documents to trick the enemy. Deception played a critical role in World War II. Comprised of artists, actors, and audio experts, the Ghost Army, which was a part of the United States Army, was tasked with creating illusions on the battlefield to mislead the enemy. They used inflatable tanks, dummy artillery, sound effects, and even fake radio transmissions to deceive the Axis forces about the location and strength of Allied troops. Their work contributed to the success of various Allied operations by confusing and diverting enemy resources. In the midst of World War II, Japan devised a highly unconventional and secret plan known as Fugo. This plan involved the launch of over 9,000 balloon bombs resembling innocent-looking balloons aimed at reaching North America. These balloons had inside of them explosive devices that could cause a lot of damage. The aim was to spread fear on the US West Coast. However, the success of these balloon bombs was limited. Most of them failed to reach their intended targets, drifting off course or landing in remote areas where they caused minimal harm. Yet, there was one heartbreaking exception. In 1945, a tragic incident unfolded in Oregon. A Fugo balloon ignited a devastating fire, leading to the deaths of a pregnant woman and five innocent children. The sinking of the German ship Wilhelm Gustloff in January 1945 remains a little-known tragedy. This maritime disaster is one of the deadliest in history, surpassing the death toll of the Titanic. The ship was named after Wilhelm Gustloff, a notable figure in Nazi Germany. Gustloff had early affiliations with the Nazi party and held a leadership position within the Swiss Nazi movement. However, he was assassinated by David Frankfurter, a Swiss Jewish student, as an act of protest against the Nazi oppression. The Nazis turned him into a martyr, using his name and memory for their propaganda efforts. As the war neared its end, the Wilhelm Gustloff was pressed into service to evacuate thousands of civilians and refugees, including women and children, from the path of the advancing Red Army. Tragically, this humanitarian mission ended in disaster. Torpedoed by a Soviet submarine in the icy waters of the Baltic Sea, the ship met a swift and watery grave, claiming the lives of an estimated 9,000 people. One night in February 1942, shortly after the United States entered World War II, the skies over Los Angeles lit up in an extraordinary display of anti-aircraft artillery fire. The city was in a state of alarm following reports of an unidentified object in the sky feared to be a Japanese aircraft. In response, a barrage of artillery rounds was fired into the night sky in what became known as the Battle of Los Angeles. However, despite the intense firepower and the spectacle that ensued, no enemy aircraft was ever confirmed to have been present. Even today, we're not sure what they saw. Some say it might have been a weather balloon or something else. During World War II, there was a special group of British soldiers called the Chindits. They were led by a brave leader named Major General Ord Wingate. Instead of fighting in regular battles, the Chindits went behind enemy lines like secret agents. They used sneaky tactics to disrupt the Japanese supply lines and communication. But here's the thing. Even though they did some really daring stuff, not many people know about them. That's because other special forces, like the British SAS, often get more attention. In the end, World War II was a huge and complicated event. These lesser-known stories show us that it had many different parts and heroes who did amazing things. They remind us that there's more to the war than what we usually hear about, and they help us understand how it affected people 
all around the world.